Yo, welcome back to the channel, everyone. And in this video, we'll be going over the top five best SMG class setups here in season one of Call of Duty Vanguard. So with that being said, the like goal on this video has to be 500 likes. If we can get 500 likes in under 24 hours, that'd be absolutely incredible. These class setups are guaranteed to help you guys increase your KD ratio, drop your most kills, or potentially secure that V2 rocket. So with that being said, let's go ahead and break down these class setups. So the first setup we're going to be checking a look at is going to be with the M1928, which is, in my opinion, one of the most underrated SMGs in this entire game. So for the M1928, we're going to be running it with the Recoil Booster, the SMLE Pistol Grip, the CGC 12-inch Cooling Barrel. We're also going to go ahead and throw on the 8mm Kurtz 50-round drum, so we have that increased damage. We are running the Lengthened Ammo Type, the Larger Upgraded Iron Sights, the Fabric Grip, the CGC adjustable stock, Frenzy, as well as fully loaded. Overall, a fantastic SMG class set if you guys are looking for damage as well as speed and accuracy. The M1928, in my personal opinion, is a better rushing SMG than the MP40 because of its ammo capacity as well as its damage output with the help of the Kurtz round. So definitely go ahead and give this a class setup a try. And the best part about it is we have the Frenzy Proficiency, which allows us to regenerate our health after kills, which is absolutely perfect for run and gun aggressive style of play. Now for the main setup, I have a 1911 pistol, Ghost, Ford Intel Lightweight, and I am running the Gammon Bomb and the Stem Shot. Now for the next class setup, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the MP40, which is still a very solid SMG in this game. Even after the nerf, it's still amazing. I think I should definitely go ahead and give it a try. So for the MP40, we're gonna run it with the Recoil Booster as well, the SMLE Pistol Grip, the VDD short barrel, the 8mm Kurtz rounds, the lengthened ammo type, the Kruznix upgraded iron sights, the rubber grip for recoil control, the Kruznix stock, brace, as well as fully loaded. Another great class setup that's going to be dealing high damage, mobility, as well as high accuracy. A lot of my SMG builds, I like to go ahead and bump up that damage, giving these weapons the fastest time to go possible because remember, we're going to be rushing and being aggressive with these setups, so we need to be having classes that are going to be dealing high damage. So definitely go ahead and put on the Kurtz rounds, but with the MP40, you're going to want to go ahead and double this up with the rubber grip, as well as with the brace resistance, allowing us to have increased accuracy because we have attachments like the Kruznix folding stock, which is going to reduce the recoil as well as obviously an ammunition that's going to reduce the recoil. But with this attachment to kind of bump up those stats, we're going to allow ourselves to be accurate, but also packing a punch. And that's why the MP40 is so good still here in Call of Duty Vanguard. Now for the class at number three, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the PPSH-41, which is going to be a very solid SMG if you guys are looking to run around and just mow everybody down and spray and pray. Now, the PPSH, again, is, in my opinion, another dangerously underrated SMG. Let's go ahead and check out this class setup. So for the PPSH, we're taking a look at it with the Mercury Silencer, giving us sound suppression as well as recoil control. We're also going to go ahead and use the M1941 hand stop for recoil control as well as accuracy. We have on the ZAC 300 millimeter barrel for allowing us to have, again, more recoil control. The regular 71 round magazines because you do not want to run the Nambu rounds on this gun because it's going to reduce the damage. And that is exactly what we do not want to have happen with the PPSH. Lengthened ammo type, the slate reflector because the upgraded iron sights for multiplayer on the PPSH, I'm not a huge fan of. I like to have that slate reflector so I have a little bit more accuracy and clarity at those medium and longer ranges. I'm running the Fabric Grip, the Empress Custom because we need additional recoil control, Tight Grip for even more recoil control, and then finally the Quick Proficiency because we are going to be running a lot of attachments that are going to technically slow this weapon down. We need to go ahead and speed it up with Quick giving us sprint speed. Now, I went a little bit more in detail with the PPSH because this is an SMG that you're going to have to kind of level up and understand fully why you're going to be running the attachments you're going to have to use on it. This has high recoil. We're going to reduce that as much as we can with these attachments, but we also want to make it feel like it's still an SMG that has mobility and also high ammo capacity, which 
the PPSH definitely does because we are running a 71 round drum. Definitely a solid class setup and I think you guys should definitely check out the PPSH. If you guys are looking for a different SMG to try out here in Vanguard as opposed to the MP40 and maybe the M1928. Now, for the fourth class setup, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the Type 100, which is ridiculously effective if you guys build an accuracy setup. So for the Type 100, we have on the M1929 Silencer, we are running the SMLE Pistol Grip. We're running the Shirashi, I butchered that, barrel for recoil control. We are going to be running the Russian Rounds for increased damage, the Lengthen Ammo Type, the Slate Reflector, the Fabric Grip, the... Rarubishi, I butchered that again, the Rarubishi Skeletal Stock, Fleet, as well as Fully Loaded. Now, the reason I'm running these attachments on the Type 100 is because I want to have an accurate, high damage SMG that is still mobile, and that's exactly what this class setup is going to encompass. The Type 100 is a very good SMG, even after the vital nerf going ahead and reducing its output at those close ranges when you stack a damage round in vital. We're still gonna be packing a punch with this setup, and it is gonna be an SMG that we can use as an AR hybrid, because again, it's gonna have very low recoil, high accuracy as well, as it's going to have decent damage, especially at range. So definitely go ahead and give this a try. Again, if you guys are trying to use an SMG that isn't the PPSH or the M1928. I don't see nearly as many players running the Type 100 now, but for whatever reason, I don't know why. It's still a very solid SMG, and you guys should definitely give this a try. Now, for our fifth and final class setup, we're going to take a look at the Owen gun. So for the Owen gun, we're going to be running it with the recoil booster, the Carver foregrip, so we have additional recoil control, the Gawain Barrel, so we have less damage, fall off at range, bullet velocity, and increased limb damage. The 72 round magazine, so we can match this up to the PPSH. Lengthened ammo type. The slate reflector, so we have a clean optic picture. The rubber grip for additional recoil control. The remove stock, so we can go ahead and speed this weapon up, making it a little bit more deadly at those close to medium ranges brace for even more recoil control and then finally fully loaded a very solid smg that's going to be packing a punch that you could also run a gun and be aggressive with and that's going to be a recipe for a v2 rocket definitely go ahead and give this a try if you guys are looking for another smg that's kind of out of the box but is still in my opinion meta now you guys can also tell for all of my class setups i had the same secondary perks lethal as well as tactical because they work and i feel like they're going to be what's going to be best for most players definitely go ahead and give these class setups a try if you guys are trying to build some solid smg class setups now the two sets i want you guys to definitely check out in this video are going to be this n1928 class setup, which is going to be absolutely disgusting and fantastic if you guys are trying to run and gun with and then definitely go ahead and give this ppsh 41 class setup a try because it in my opinion is incredibly underrated but it's still going to be solid to give you guys a lot of ammo capacity, recoil control, as well as the accuracy you guys need. If you guys did enjoy this video and uh, end up, you know, dropping your first C2 rock with any of these class setups, let me know down in the comment section of this video. And as always, make sure you guys drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn those post notifications. About 70% of you guys who watch the content each and every day are not yet subscribed. What are you doing? Click the notification bell and become part of the year's family. I'm going to catch you on the next video. This is...